Knowing that 15 is equal to 16 take away 1, determine the exact location of root 15 on the number line. All right, so they're giving us a bit of a hint. They're pointing at Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we could also say that b squared is equal to c squared take away a squared, right? So we have a right angle triangle where the two legs are 15 and 1, and the hypotenuse is 16. All right, so that's interesting. All right, like this, right? So this is the hypotenuse is 4, the uh, square root of 15 is one side, and 1 is the other side. All right, so what I want to do is I want to construct this on the number line just using a compass and a ruler, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the four line because it's a nice whole number, right? It's a nice whole number, so I'm going to make the four line on the number line. So I'm going to go to two, put my compass point on two, adjust it so that the pencil is on the four or the pencil's on zero, and make my arc, make my full circle. Um, in fact, I'm not going to make a full circle. I'm just going to make an arc. Okay, so it's just like that. So I have my, you know, an arc that's a little bit more than a semicircle. The next thing I'm going to do, so this is going to be, I'm going to put the four line on the bottom here. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to rotate that. Let me just show you what I mean. All right, so to construct this, um, this triangle on the number line, um, I'm going to use the one. All right, so it's very important that we use whole numbers. All right, so. To get a, um, a circle with radius of 1, I'm just going to put my compass point here and then make a circle that is um, that has a diameter of 1. All right? So you put the pencil right here, you adjust it so that, sorry, you have to put the point right here, adjust it so the pencil goes to 1, and then make your circle like this. Okay? So I would go, you know, I'd just make half the circle, or just even, I'm just really looking at where it crosses here, but you can make a full circle if you like. Now I'm just going to connect the dots to make my triangle, okay, like that. So I've drawn from here to there and back down. All right, so um, we know that this length is going to be root 15. All right, so here's our root 15 right up here. Now what I want to do is I want to get the root 15. I want to see what happens if I rotate this line right down onto the number line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my compass point on zero and adjust it so it's just the, uh, where the green line meets the red circle. So it has the same, has the length of the square root of 15. All right, and once I get that, once I get my compass there, I make an arc. All right, and my arc is going to look a little bit like this. Okay, and notice it's a little bit shorter than uh, the red semicircle. All right, so where right here is where the square root of 15 is. All right, so let's have a look. Let's just take that and move it like that. And there we go. Let me zoom out. Okay, so that is it. Um, so this is how you, um, so this point right here is the square root of 15, and away we go. All right, so that's it. Have a good day.